What's there up? he is. Okay, what's up, Kyle? Coach. How you doing, man? Good morning, guys. How you guys doing? How you doing, man? How's your morning going? It's going well, man. Just sitting here about to head to walk through here in a little bit and then head over to Houston. Man, okay. How's your, I was going to ask, how's your gas tank right now? I mean, long camp, you know, I mean, it's like you're grinding. I don't know. How's the gas tank right now? Gas tank's good. I mean, we were in a hotel all last week, so every time you're not at work, you're sleeping in your room, so you get to catch up on a more sleep than usual. And we've had a lot of games here in the last 12 days or whatever, so that's been a little different for our players and stuff. But we're ready to knock this one out and just get ready for week one. It's funny, like players, it's so important that players get their sleep, right? But but I, coaches, the exact opposite. If you sleep, like you're considered, you know, failure, right? Do you get? Are you able to get your rest? Uh, I I mean I try my hardest, but I'm not trying to <coughs> prove that I'm good at anything by not sleeping. I need my sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But I mean it does get tougher during the year. It's you know sometimes on Sunday night games and what you got to do on a Monday and Tuesday before the players get in on Wednesday. But I'm not a guy trying to um, prove anything by my hours. It is no, kind of a is it like a little is it a fake hustle to prove that you're staying up all yeah, night? Yeah, look how tough thing? I am. I haven't slept in three days. Right. <laughs> I think some guys get like that. I think that's a little old school. Um, I, I do think you get used to it, but yeah. um, you know, I grew up a coach's son, so I was ready before I got into coaching um, to know how many hours I was going to have to put in. Um, so you go in and approach that, and you work your butt off. But then I'd always see some guys like, "Hey, why are you just sitting there? I mean, you can go home. You're done with your stuff." <laughs> yeah, um, and then some guys aren't, and so you you realize people do get some scars and stuff, and they want to prove that. But um, I try to create a culture where it's not that way but you end up um spending a lot of time here because there's a lot to do i thought it was i think it was joe gibbs was the first to kind of sleep in the office does that sound right to you was that you i know yeah i knew yes i knew especially being in washington we right you know he had a bed built in there he did that a lot but wow. um that's all how you look at it i also know you know he stayed up real late but and I also know they started their days at about uh, nine thirty. Interesting, you know, where that's yeah. totally different than some places that start mm-hmm. at about six. So it's just kind of how you do it. But everybody is a human, and you do need sleep. That is a fact. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that includes your twenty-two-year-old quarterback Trey Lance. Would love the latest August twenty-four. Like if I had to ask you, when camp opened, July twenty-seven versus August twenty-four, what has changed in Trey Lance's football performance? Um, not much has changed. I mean, it's. I don't really see that with any players and just what's changed from A to B. It's about going through a, a whole process to get ready for week one and to get ready for a season. So you put guys through so many different situations versus so many different coverages, fronts, different game plans for the day, different situations in the red zone, third down, blitzes, zones, all this stuff you go through each day. And you're constantly trying to improve and get them ready for the season. And um, that's always creating up and down days, but it's all about just creating that foundation. So when it gets real, um, it's time to go. It's kind of, I mean, preseason to me is like being at the driving range. It's, it's, you can work at stuff, but yeah. I don't care whether it's good or whether it's bad. It mm-hmm. does not matter. It's all about learning right there. And it's going to matter when you get to that course. So uh, how much? So that being said, Coach, what are you looking for from Trey Lance in this final preseason game? And how much do you think we'll see him on the field? How long do you think we'll see him out there? Um, I'd like them to get a couple drives. Um, you know, I just want them to go out, you know, have a little bit of the continuity of the offense. You know, they haven't played since the first game of the preseason. And yep. we're going to have after this, we have 17 days, I believe, something like that, till till they play again. So that's such a long time that I want them to go out there and just – get in there a little bit, but I'm trying to get them out pretty fast. My goal is for them to stay healthy, and um, as long as they do that, I'll be happy. This is Rich Eisen. Does your antiperspirant keep you dry all day? Dove Men Plus Care Dry Spray goes on instantly dry for a cleaner feel and offers 48 hours sweat and odor protection. I've used antiperspirant sticks for years, but what's great about Dove Men Dry Spray is that it feels light and clean on your skin. It's also quick and easy to use. Great for topping up when you're on the go. Also, Dove Men Dry Spray contains Dove's unique one quarter moisturizing cream that helps protect your skin try dove men plus care dry spray goes on dry clean feel all day all right speaking of healthy kyle shanahan joining us here on the uma guest line uh mike mcglinchey is is the latest concern what's the update on uh his knee his availability and who would be his primary backup is it colton mckivitz yeah, Colton McKivitz has been taking that spot. He's been doing a hell of a job in camp so far. Um, just got Jalen Moore back in practice 
uh, yesterday, um, which is good to get some depth there. So he should get a chance to get his first playing time on Thursday, which is good. But Mike, I mean, we're, we're trying to wait and see with Mike. You know, we don't, we're not too concerned about it. Didn't seem like a big thing, but he had a little irritation after that first game. And, um, he got a little help on it, and now we're trying to take a week off and just let it rest and see how he comes back um, the week after this. And we feel it'll be good, but um, we're on a wait-and-see approach right now. Okay, so take a week off, wait and see, and we'll we'll check back in on that. It really seems like, Kyle, that the, if anything, there's any concern about the Niners who are really looked at as a really you know prom- promising team in the NFC this year, it's the offensive line. And not Trent Williams, obviously. He's going to Canton. But it's the interior part, the two guards in the center. Um how would you evaluate? Is it Banks, Brendel, and Burford, the three Bs who are going to lead the way? And oh, if geez. so, how how concerning is it that that much inexperience is in front of a young quarterback? Oh, I mean, you always wish you had more experience. You always wish you had just five Pro Bowlers in there who had been playing a while. But uh, this is part of the league, and you know, losing a good player like Lakin last year um, in free agency. Um, we had to step up and get some guys and I'm excited for Banks and what he's done this off season. I was excited to get a guy in here like Burford in the fourth round or fifth round, whatever it was, mm-hmm. um, with his ability and stuff that he has the ability to at least start at that position. And, and then just having guys like Dan Brunskill, who's done it here for the last few years and as a solid guy that we can rely on and put in there at any time if those guys aren't ready to go. And then I like some of these young guys that have been competing here, um, since we've gotten. So it's still not settled yet. We'll see how this game ends up, how these next 17 days go and um hopefully we'll get mike back and um hopefully Jalen moore will be healthy and i'm hoping that we'll have a group of nine guys that um, we know are going to have to help us throughout the year um, but it's definitely nice having Trent there over on the left side aaron Banks is an interesting uh name because he was considered to be we would say in the media in your doghouse last year uh was that accurate and what did he do to get out no he wasn't in my doghouse at all it was his um you know we drafted him to hopefully replace Lakin um, because we kind of go there free agency wise with what we did with Trent and things like that and that's kind of part of the process we had a real good guard there in Lakin Tomlinson and um, we were waiting until he was gone and giving Banks the time to be ready and that's what he's gotten and so far he's been up for the challenge and we'll hope that continues okay yeah Kyle Kyle Shanahan Shanahan, our guest Mm -hmm. yeah on the Umi guest line now I won't use the doghouse term here coach but I will say last year you know a lot of people had eyes on Brandon Ayuk and they were saying like you know is this guy coming along at the right pace and then finally I thought by the end of the year he was playing good football this year we've been hearing his name really since the start of camp like everyone's talking about Brandon Ayuk so my question is what's different about what you see from Ayuk this year than what you saw last year at this time Oh, he's just a lot further along. I mean, he's so much more ready to go at this time um, compared to last year, the beginning of the year. Um, the way he finished last year yeah. um, is where he picked up this off season. I mean, we were real happy with Brandon um, and what he ended up being last year. Uh, started out slower than our expectations, and it was by no means a doghouse either. It was that he wasn't where we thought he needed to be to be the consistency of a starting receiver. Um, and I know that disappoints a lot of people, especially when they have high expectations in fantasy football and things like that at the beginning in the year which i get it so do my kids <laughs> yeah, right, um, right, right. but but we got to put guys there who are fully ready and not just um for all 70 plays and he wasn't quite there yet but he fought through it and he proved himself big time as the year went on and everyone sees his ability and i consider him one of the leaders of our team right now and he's had a good of a camp as anyone good stuff man we'll look forward to it i got a couple minutes left here with kyle shanahan's so just kind of rapid fire charvarius ward he's been out for a while what's the status um, yeah, he'll be back next week. He's doing good. We're gonna we're not gonna test him at all in this game. Him and E Man have been off the last few weeks. I think E Man will get a go, possibly a little in this game. We're still trying to decide on that, but he at least has been um, good here the last two days in practice. And um, Mooney or Charvarius, um, he'll be out there next week. Okay, and then the signing of Tashawn Gibson. Uh, what would, role would you have slated for him? Well, I mean, just losing Jimmy was a huge deal. So we, we felt we had to get some more depth in here, and um, it's going to be some time before we get Jimmy back. Um, so we had to bring in some, you know, we wanted to bring in a veteran guy who had done it before and, you know, played in the system somewhat similar, had some experience in it. And um, Gibbs been that, you know, he's done it at a number of teams and he's done it at a high level. And to have the chance to get him in here to compete, to make our team and to compete with these guys, and we feel pretty fortunate about that. We got like 90 seconds left. What do you think of the NFL top 100? Are you okay? are you cool with your players making where they are? Should they be higher? Should Nick Bosa be higher? Uh, uh, where where do you go? He went 25th. 
Yeah, I, yeah, that's that's why I don't pay attention to it. <laughs> no, that's a good answer. That's perfect. Perfect. All right, yeah. Kyle, we got to let you go. We got Giants baseball. But yeah. how, and the final question is, how happy are you? We didn't ask about Jimmy Garoppolo. Not even once. Oh, See, man, it, I am happy. I Just do appreciate that. Out that. To you. Yeah. It's it's hard to keep saying Dude. nothing's changed yeah. over and over in yeah. different ways. We thought we'd spare you today. Just man. want to make sure to like you know get that on the record. There. Yeah. Just uh, all right. Hey, off I you go. I appreciate it, guys. Yeah. How you are? <laughs> Thanks, to, to your old town of Houston. Go get some good barbecue and then come on back. Thanks, and Talk to you down the road. All right, guys. Take care. There he is, Kyle Shanahan. Uh, hit it and quit it. That's yeah. all, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, Let's get down to Houston, get this one of the books, and we get ready for the real thing, buddy.